that was a bit of a pain. Yeah. Model becomes photographer. My studio is quite a bit of a mess this morning, so I'm not going to show you um, around. But I have been flat out at work for the last like two weeks, just finishing off all of the pieces for the new collection. I'm so in love with how all of them have turned out. They look so beautiful and definitely really fit the vibe of my brand and what I'm going for. And I really just love every piece. Even though this is my autumn winter collection, there's no like real specific piece that is designated for just, you can only wear it in winter. It's definitely pieces that you can wear throughout the year, which is what I'm going for with the brand. I don't wanna just be creating pieces for specific seasons or for trends or anything like that. So I have a few long pants and a few long sleeved tops, but most of it's pretty much what you can wear throughout the year. If you're wanting to wear it in like autumn or winter, um, you can definitely dress them up with like stockings and a jacket. And yeah, it's just really versatile, I should say. So today is Tuesday, the 2nd of May and I don't have to sew anything, which is great because normally what happens is I stuff myself over and I am finishing things on the day, the night before the photo shoot even. Um, and yeah, today I finally have everything done and it's all sorted. I did finish it all yesterday, but <laughs> it is not the day before the shoot or the day of the shoot. Today's a bit of a busy one. I have to go to spotlight this morning and pick up a zipper um, and then I need to finish some pants for a customer this morning um, and then I'll either try and post that out before I go get my hair done or I'll have to do it after I get my hair done it just depends on how much time I have and then yeah I'm going to go and get my hair done um, at 10 30 so this will hopefully be a little bit nicer looking because right now it's looking a bit gross I kind of booked the shoot before I remembered that I had my hair done um, but it was kind of lucky that it was on the day before or like it was around the same time because um, if I had booked on the same day, I would have just been freaking out because it's hard to get in with my hairdresser again. And then it's also, I didn't want to stuff around the model and I didn't want to stuff around the shoot location as well. The shoot's at Utoma Studios, which is in Brisbane, and I booked it for 7 a.m., I thought that it was only an hour and like 10 away, but it's actually like an hour and a half drive away. So I'm going to have to be leaving at like just after five o'clock just to try and make sure I don't hit any traffic or anything. Cause I know Brisbane traffic in the morning, everyone's trying to get to work. It's just hectic. So um, I'm hoping that I miss all of that cause it'll still be pretty early. I'm shooting at Utoma Studios, which is just this beautiful um, natural lit studio. It's got these beautiful wooden floors. It's just very quirky and cute and I love it. And then the model that I'm using is Laura. So I've booked that from 7 till 12. So it's like a five hour slot and I'm hoping that's plenty of time to do all of the pieces but I do have a lot of pieces and I did up a schedule yesterday and I'm like oh it's just going to be very like get changed, take a photo, get changed, take a photo because there's just a lot to get through. So that's my day. I hope that I can bring you along and um, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. I just finished up my hair appointment. Love my hair, it looks so nice. I'm gonna go and get some food now because I haven't eaten anything today and I'm starving. And then I'm gonna go home and iron and steam all of those clothes um, as well and just get that all ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it.
<laughs> it went really well. I've just been so busy since then. Um, I had so many photos that I needed to edit and I had to do a lot of marketing and everything for it, as well as do everything on the website and just the back end. And I, yeah, I just ended up being so busy. So I haven't really been able to film too much. I basically just spent last week sewing, cutting some patterns and yeah, just prepping for the market. I'm pretty low in stock at the moment actually, so I really need to get some more done. The shoot went really well. Sam did a great job getting a lot of behind the scenes footage for me. Um, my phone ran out of storage as well, so that's also why I haven't really done a lot of filming. So that was a bit of a pain. Laura also did a really great job with modeling um, and she really helped out a lot with a lot of like problem solving and stuff because obviously this is my first time doing like a big shoot in a studio and I was just having some problems with my camera and she was able to fix it for me which was really good. I also got heaps of film photos and all of them turned out so beautiful. There is one roll, I can't remember what the name of the roll was, I think it was like one shot or something like that. Um, they didn't turn out very nice, they were very like grey and dull um and like moody so i was like if that's the like theme that you're going for then like that's great i'll put them on the screen but that wasn't what i was going for i was going for more of like the vibrant bright very beautiful film look that i was getting with like the portrait film i also used another roll of i think it's something forward but i'm, I'm ill forward or something like that um that was another one that I used and they turned out really good as well. So yeah, super happy with that. So happy with the shoot. I still have so many photos that I need to edit. I just did the ones that I liked the most um, and quickly edited those and then put them up on the website. The launch was great. Um, there's still heaps of pieces obviously available. I just make them as I go. I have a few that I need to finish today and I'm hoping that I can have a couple of pieces available at the markets this weekend. Yeah, I was just super happy with it and I'm so proud of myself for doing the whole photo shoot by myself basically. Um, I was very proud of it and then yeah just really happy with what Sam did and what Laura did as well. It's just such a good day and I love doing shoots. So I hope this video was enjoyable and I hope you got to see a little bit more behind the scenes of a photo shoot. I love I love doing photo shoots, they're just so fun and I hope that I can do more of them at Utoma because that was just such a beautiful place. Anyway, yeah, um I spent I spent the day with Bella today and we just went and had some breakfast and did some op shopping um, and I found some really cool stuff as well. I might do a little haul on my personal TikTok. I'll leave that on here or in the description um, if you want to see that. But yeah, I just need to finish sewing now because I have a lot to do. I've just been pretty exhausted and run down lately, but I'm going to get back into it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and all of that stuff. So yeah. Thank you. <laughs>